This is a quick introduction to Quora ads. Once you get into the ad manager, you want to hit this blue button to create a new campaign. And the most important selection criteria here is going to be the objective. So you can see that there are six of them. Conversions, which are very useful if you're trying to generate sales from your website or if you're generating leads from your website. App installs, if you have a mobile app, this is going to be important. Traffic, not generally an objective that I use a lot, but could be useful in some cases. Awareness is something that empirically has been shown to generate strong results over the long term. Video views can be useful if you have a video ad, but you need to be careful because often the frequency of the views gets too high. And then lead generation, which is incredibly useful if you're selling a service or you're selling a business to business product or you have some sort of complex sales pipeline. So for demonstration purposes, let's just go with lead generation. And we're gonna set a maximum daily budget of $100 in this case, but you don't have to do that. You could go as low as uh, whatever you want. So let's go with $100 and we're gonna say begin advertising campaign immediately. Hit continue. I'm gonna set the location as the United States in this case, because it's a very profitable large place to go with, but you could go much, much broader than that, or you could go narrower than that if you're marketing some sort of local product or service. So here's where things get really interesting, and really this is one of the fundamental differences between the different ad platforms is the types of targeting. The other major difference being the size of the user base, so the reach that you can have. So here we have contextual targeting, which is basically where your ads are displaying within Quora. So you can do it by topic. So for example, I can put in here SaaS, software as a service, and then it's going to suggest some other SaaS topics. So I'm just going to add a whole bunch of these. And you can see that on the right here, we're getting a potential weekly impressions, 800,000 to 850,000. Okay, great. So I can get about a million impressions per week and then it summarizes the number of topics and locations and you can put in here whatever topic you want so business to business uh, you could put in something like star wars uh, pretty much any topic people are going to be discussing and that's really what the power of Quora is is you can get some context specific categories of questions that people are inquiring about and pegging your brand to that specific scenario or that particular trigger or specifically targeting people that are inquisitive about this topic, perhaps because they're going to make a purchase decision fairly soon. So that's topics. Now we can also display next to certain keywords. So for example, if there's a question related to product marketing as a keyword, I could add that and you can see that we're only getting 10,000 to 20,000 reach with our uh, weekly impressions with that. We can also put in specific questions, which is not something I generally do, but what you could do is compile a list of questions uh, that you, you want to be displayed next to on Quora, and then you could do a bulk ad to, to do that sort of targeting. Now, the other targeting option we have here is audience targeting. So we can create an audience by uploading people that had visited our website. Uh, we can do lookalikes of people that perhaps our customers, or we can just do a match to existing customers or some sort of database that we've imported. I would say that generally this is probably yet less useful with Quora just because uh, you're going to be able to reach more people using uh, something like Google or Facebook. Uh, so the, the custom audience features less important. It'd be, it'd be more useful to use something like context targeting uh, or behavioral targeting. So let's take a look at behavioral targeting. You see here that instead of targeting and displaying our ads next to specific topics, instead we're gonna target people that are interested in specific topics. So again, uh, I could just go with something like people that are interested in business to business marketing, target them. People that have a, a history of searching for certain keywords. So let's say in the last 100 days, they searched, oh, 30 is the maximum. So in the last 30 days, maybe they target at certain keywords like, uh, product management, um, software management, entrepreneurship, or maybe we want to get more specific and we say, okay, well, they've been searching for keywords relating to accounting software and we're selling accounting software. You can also exclude keywords. And again, we can also do the question history too, which uh, 
uh, I think is a little too granular for most cases. The last option we have here is broad targeting. So we can specify genders, d devices, and we can exclude certain groups. We can also choose specific placements. So do we want to be in the feed in the questions or just the questions or just the feed? Uh, I, I would say this is a little too broad and um, the questions would be a little too narrow for, for most situations. One targeting method that I would find the most useful would be behavioral targeting, showing ads to people that have interest in a specific topic. So in my scenario here, I'm interested in people uh, that are interested in SaaS, so software as a service. So I'm just going to put that and uh, we'll continue forward from there. And we're going to go with uh, all placements. And here we have to choose how we want to optimize. Now, in a lot of cases, you're just going to want to optimize for impressions to maximize the number of people that see your ad. However, I set the objective as leads. So let's try to optimize for leads. And I'm going to say that we'll pay up to $51 per lead. In the next section, what Core is going to do is allow us to create the ad itself. So we can create an image ad, a video ad, a text ad, and we can also just promote an answer. So maybe we provided a very insightful answer to a question. We could simply use that as an ad. Uh, business name, let's just call this uh, Decker Fraser Corp. And I'll just say this is a sample headline. You can see the headline populates here on the right. You can see the uh, logo here. Let's say this is sample body text. Get your offer now. Call to action would be, in a case like this, maybe contact us, maybe sign up. If it's something like a free trial, you can upload an image. You can add tracking data if we want. And uh, the key thing here is that you can capture the leads within Quora the same way you can with LinkedIn and Facebook. And you can see what that form will look like. And you can see that it pops up after you hit sign up. So what you would do here is you would create a lead gen form and you might call this uh, test form, offer headline, get a free trial of Decker's marketing software. And you'd select the information you want to collect. So perhaps you need to know the country for legal purposes. Uh, I generally try to go with the minimum here. So maybe just uh, email as a way to follow up with them. You'd put in your privacy policy and, uh, and there you have it, a lead capture form to immediately capture leads within Quora. So that was a quick overview of how to create an ad. Once again, you can create different types of ads for any one of these objectives. I think a very useful thing to do would be to start with an awareness campaign to see just how broad uh, a reach you can achieve with Quora and then uh, segue eventually into an additional campaign that's focused on something like lead generation or conversions. And, and this will vary if you're doing business to consumer or business to business, or depending on how long your sales cycle is. The other thing I want to do is just briefly highlight the sections above. So we've been focused on the manage ad section, which is where we can see some of these performance metrics and see the uh, impressions, clicks, click through rates. It's also where we can uh, create new campaigns. We also have this section for pixels and events for the tracking purposes. Our audiences, which will be here, custom audiences, if you want to import a list of customers and create things like lookalikes, uh, lead gen, we can do an integration with Zapier into your CRM, your Salesforce, your Zoho, your whatever, and then you can also uh, create custom reports here. So that's a quick overview and introduction to Quora Ads.